Hello and welcome to Comfort Dad Cooks. On today's show, we'll be making eggnog ice cream. A real treat and absolutely wonderful on its own or with a dessert such as a, the gingerbread cake that we made the other week. Very, very simple to make. Uh, you'll need an ice cream maker and what we'll do is we'll start off by um, beating two eggs for a couple of minutes here. So, two eggs in the bowl. With ice cream making, it's useful if you can chill everything before. So if you put the bowl itself in the freezer, that can be a very good way to start when you're making ice cream. Make sure the bowl is well locked on. There we go. <laughs> and so we'll beat that for a couple of minutes. You want it to be at quite a high speed. It's trying to create lots of aeration in the eggs to make them fluffy and they'll form trails through the through the eggs with the beater. Now when the eggs have become um, beaten like that, we're going to add 100 grams of just uh, raw sugar here and continue to beat that until the egg sugar mixture turns pale yellow and starts to thicken a little bit, again leaving trails of the beater through the egg and sugar mixture. Okay, so that's quite stiff now. We're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract to that, slowly. And incorporate that. You needn't beat it too long. So that's two eggs, 100 grams of sugar, and a couple of table teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a pint or about 500 milliliters of double cream to that. And then about half of that, about 250 milliliters, about half a pint of eggnog. Just eggnog that you get from the store, whatever your favorite flavor of eggnog is, that's the right flavor to, uh, to get. There's different ones with some have more cinnamon in them, some have more cloves, um, but uh, some have all, more allspice as well. All of them seem to taste quite Christmassy and seasonal, and anyone who loves eggnog laments the demise of eggnog around about the first week in January until it comes again, uh, probably around about just after Thanksgiving nowadays. So according to the instructions on your ice cream maker, you might have an ice cream maker with a bowl that you have to chill, as I do, or you might have an ice cream maker with its own internal uh, refrigeration unit, which is nice because you need not wait to make ice cream. You can make ice cream whenever you want. So according to your ice cream maker's instructions, because of course we all read the manual, don't we? <laughs> but put the um, mixture into the ice cream maker and then start it off. Uh, with the beater inside. There was only a couple of times I forgot, forgot to put the paddle inside and it didn't result in the best ice cream, I can assure you. And so start that, you're probably looking at about um, half an hour here to churn that and we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back and the ice cream is looking about the right texture. Yeah, that's how I like it, about like that. So uh, it's churned up nicely and let's try it. This is a delicious ice cream with the gingerbread that I made recently on Comfort Dad Cooks. So this is the ice cream and we're gonna try it. But one way I really like to try uh, or savor this ice cream is to um, use warmed maple syrup. A little drizzling of warmed maple syrup on top is absolutely delicious. Now there's indulgence for you. <laughs> you can warm it for 20 or 25 seconds in the microwave. Let's see how this tastes. It smells great. Mmm. That is so good. <laughs> Egg and ice cream. Absolutely wonderful. Mmm. Now if you were serving this with a warm gingerbread cake or um, Christmas pudding, 
and you have it with brandy butter as well. Absolutely fantastic. So simple to make as well. So that's eggnog ice cream on Comfort Dad Cooks. Thank you.